Now, I'm not sure what exact tweet caused this, but I feel like I'm a marked man on Twitter. The last words I used, though, that came right before this is, they are afraid of the light. Discussing people that talk about any time solar deities are mentioned, they go straight to Luciferian conspiracy theories. I perceive the vast majority of the conspiracy theory movement as allergic to the light. Period. Period. Period period, and way too comfortable with darkness, white supremacy, other forms of racism, and anti-themism. Okay, I don't see the modern conspiracy theory movement as awake, or, or Twitter as awake, and maybe I should shut off my Twitter account. I have my Facebook shut off. I also want to mention something else to you at this time, without mentioning names, but there's someone that did come around where I used to live in off-grid, and um, I never got a good vibe about him, and if I was talking to you personally, I would say more, but he and his girlfriend came over unannounced, and I never really felt like his friends liked me, and there was a sense of hate and strong distrust, in fact. And I heard this person beat up his girlfriend, and I did not have a gun while up there, and I heard other off-graders beat up their girlfriends, including some using the N-word that later got black girlfriends, leading me to make some suspicions, and then I noticed that my suspicions were correct. That because the racists who hated black people developed a thing for a black woman, he really gave it to her one night and almost killed her. And because his mom was involved in the situation, she is the one that had the cops come up there. And so I was up there long enough to realize that there's a lot of disturbed people living off grid that are like white women that are okay with white men that, that beat them within inches of their life. And then later to know these women that got hurt, to know if they either go back to the person or never saw something in me, even though I'm anti- women being harmed, even though I have a stigma for being, you know, you know, my father's son. And so you're a pretty cruel world. It feels troubling for me to call out evil on Twitter and then be told that I'm marked instantly after saying they are afraid of the light. The person, by the way, when I said, hey, I feel like your friends really weren't my greatest friends, um, he said, uh, you know, you weren't the most social, as if, as if because I lived off grid that, that people have the right to come to my property who I don't know, who have, let me just say this, unusual characteristics that we would identify to be, and I don't even want to say the word, but unusual physical characteristics that we would identify to be, um, just to speak in a general tone, of the supernatural, and we'll leave it at that. Humans that we typically don't see in the city. How about that? There are people in Bogosa Springs that are believed to be other than, you know. It is believed by some that they walk amongst us, you know. So right now, even though I mourned for a long time the loss of that land, knowing that truly disturbed people made a beeline for me, and don't care about my sore content and see me as a lesser than and think that I owe them like free shelter when they have really scary friends and do horrible things to their women. It's really traumatizing, guys, that I don't have regular men that knew me from back in the day in Portland messaging me. It's one thing if somebody wants to ask me for shelter if they know me, not that I can provide it, but it would be nice if someone thought of me at least, you know, and you're in a jam if we knew each other back in the day. But I would say this. Maybe I was homeless for a while because God was trying to teach me something. And if someone else has a history of beating women up and they become homeless in Colorado and it's cold, you know, I'm hearing about it being cold in April and that sucks, bro. That, that sucks. But it is April, meaning that there's going to be snow or sun coming. And this person had a lot of friendships and opportunities with people, including work opportunities that I did not have the privilege of having because I was different. He also told people that I was a journalist, which scared people because they thought I was a mainstream media reporter. Instead of saying he's a YouTuber who's a philosophy who's against evil and women being abused by men, and he's against these wars, it was he's a journalist, and then there was a stigma. So yeah, I am now labeled on Twitter, so I think maybe it's time for me to uh, just get off Twitter. If I do that, though, I won't see the mind control on Twitter, and you're not going to report on it because I don't have any uh, volunteer reporters out there at present reporting on current activities. So I'm pretty much in the dark on what Twitter mind control is doing unless I choose to witness it myself. Okay. Also, YouTube had in the past um, labeled me pro-Russia content, just so you know. Right. So if you don't know these things are happening to me, you know, it's ridiculous, bro sister.